Hello violin players, welcome to Pro Arm Strings. I'm Henriette and today in this lesson we're playing Oh Holy Night. Now this is a lovely smooth and flowing tune so I have added a lot of slurs to my music. So in this lesson if you have a pencil ready I'll show you first how to write your slurs in and some of the fingerings and then we'll play it together and make it into a really nice and flowing song. So let's get the music and pencil. So as I've said before, I have added a lot of slurs to my music and I've done that for two reasons. First of all, I want this piece to flow and make it as smooth as possible, but also because some of the bow strokes are, if I don't slur them, are very, very uneven. Some are very long bows and others are super short. So we're going to eliminate that discrepancy a little bit. So whenever there is a group of a dotted quaver, semiquaver, or dotted eighth note and sixteenth note, I slur those two. But then here, for instance, in this second, in this first full bar, there is already a tie here, so I'm slurring this one on. You might write a little zero there as well. And then I'm slurring this group and that group. And then I do that all the time when that little figure comes right here as well. Um, then I've, I've put a two here on this D and then a slur again, a two here as well and here you put, you tuck this little semi graver into this long tie and slur here and then you've got this slurred and that one and that one and that one and I've written a three here just so you can see um, and then I'm slurring that, I'm slurring that I've put a little up bow right here, um, keep slurring those, those same dotted quaver, semi quaver or dotted eighth note and the sixteenth note, I just keep slurring them all the time and that, that way it works. Now here at the end of this first page you've already got a tied note here and I'm just tucking this little quaver in right there as well. So this bar is actually one long bow for the whole bar. Now let's have a look at the second page and I, I keep following this same principle all the time. So here I've got a tied note, tuck in the next semi quaver or sixteenth note, then this one is tied together. Now this bar you've got a minim or a half note and then this here and I'm, I'm slurring those two on the same bow. At the same time, I'm using the first finger here on the on the middle D, and then I slur this next bar per half bar as well. M note the three here on the D. Then I've got two notes slurred here, a two on the long A, and I'm tucking in that little sixteenth note. And then this whole bar becomes one slur, and the next bar two, and the next bar two. And then I want to make sure that I have an up bow here on this D and then a down bow on the first little dotted rhythm here with their little slurs, down bow here, up bow there so that I've got a nice down bow ending. This may look very complicated but I think once you see the point of it it becomes uh, a quite straightforward to do and you get really nice even bowings and that is the whole point of our exercise here. So let me now get my violin and we'll play it together. So why don't you join me with your violin too and I'm going to count us in one, two and off we go. One, two. <laughs>
song and not so easy to play. And this is a good exercise in saving the bow and bowing the bow very close to the bridge, especially in when you play this section on the new page. Pull the bow towards you, really towards the bridge there, and you get a nice full sound. Now, of course, if you have learned to play with vibrato, that's excellent. You can put it in big time here as well and really enjoy playing your vibrato. If you've never played vibrato before, why not check out my vibrato video? And I will put the link to that video in the description below this one, because this is a lovely song to have a go at playing with vibrato if you're just learning it. So go ahead and check that out. I'm hoping that you are going to have a lot of fun with this video. And I wish you good luck with your violin playing. Merry Christmas and goodbye.